Yo, what is good YouTube? It's your boy Andy and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, as you guys can see from the thumbnail and the title, I'm going to be doing a guide on Upworld 3 for new players and also for more advanced players as well. Now the reason that I'm doing this video is because first of all, the, I did a guide on Upworld 2 and the reception on that video was insane. That is probably, I think that's one of the most popular videos on my channel to this date has like 20k views which is insane so i thought you know what since our three basically just came out i'm gonna show you guys the best builds the best animations the best jump shots everything you need to know to be good at this game now if this video helps you out make sure you leave a like make sure you subscribe to the channel i want to hit 10k as soon as possible man so if you can subscribe to the channel that'd be really appreciated and yeah let's get into the video so the first thing I want to get into is the build on the character. Now, for your how you look, it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to go with the same look that I have on my main account, which is with the robot hair, black hair, and that's pretty much it. Now, the best build, there is no real best build, and I'm going to tell you guys why. Your build really matters on depending, like depending on what you play. So if he plays twos a lot, you're going to need a center. If he play threes a lot, you're going to want to make an SG. And if you play Rex and a lot, you're also going to be one of SG. So it really, really depends on what game mode you play. So I'm going to get, I'm going to give guys one build that is really, really good. And I can actually work for all three different uh, game modes. So the build that can do everything in the game is a sensor stretch big. Now, the reason that this build is so good is because A, it is tall as hell. It can guard pretty much anyone. B, it can shoot from anywhere on the court. It can shoot from deep two. At pro, it can shoot threes. It, it can shoot from anywhere on the court. Thirdly, it's just the layups on this build is so good compared to some other builds like slashes. Slashes have better layup, but compared to the stretch, the stretch has like pretty much the same. I don't know. If you can get a full ball layup with a center stretch, that would be like 75% of rookie. Now at pro, it would be like 85. I will start probably 95 green. So you don't need to worry about layups with this build because this build can definitely do layups. Now, once you've made a center stretch, the best height and weight is max height, lowest weight. Now, the reason you want to do this is because when you're max height, it makes your layup the stat the highest it could possibly be. And for your weight, the lowest weight you are, the, the higher your speed. So, for example, if you're a center stretch 6.1 to 30, you have a 73 speed, which is actually very, very high for a center. 67 whipple speed, 68 acceleration, handles is not really relevant for the center stretch. 77 passing, 70 strength. It has a 90 mid-range and an 87 three-pointer. Now, for a big man, that is really high. Considering it doesn't really matter what your stats are this year. It, at rookie, you can shoot 80% deep twos on this build. And that's a rookie. That's not even that pro. Um, 85 layup, 69 long layup. You don't really want to be doing long layups in this game anyway because long layups never go in. Then, also, another thing about this build is that if you make an SG, it's going to be very hard for you to clamp out other builds. But if you have a center, you have an 87 shot contest, which means if someone's shooting on you and you're in their face, the chances of them making it are low. Even if you're a stretch, it's not even like, oh, it's not you have to be a defender to guard people. If you're a stretch, you can easily clamp people up. It has a 91 rebound. That's because you're max height. So you would definitely be max height and your build to be lowest weight. So you get the highest speed. Now the build in this video, I'm going to be is a center, true stretch, max height, lowest weight. Are you showing to finish? Yes. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is the best animations in the game. So to find this, you want to go to your personal gym. And once you're at your gym, you want to press tab and go to the animation section. Now, if you want to, if you want the best custom jump shot, I have made a video on that, which will be in the description. But this video is going to be for everyone that can't afford that, that, um, that game pass and can only have normal jump shots. So out of this jump shot right here, 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 the best jump shot is basic jump shot five. Now the reason that this is the best jump shot is because as you can see from the release, I think this is release five. I'm not 100% sure, but you see how it goes behind your head. That is the best release, even for custom jump shots in the game. You see how it goes behind your head. This is definitely the best normal free jump shot that you can get in the game. So let's apply that. Now the best layup is side layup two. Now, if you played Up War 2, you would know the cheesy layup that every single center would use. That was legit unguardable. It was so hard to guard this layup, but it, and it is back in Up War 3. As you can see, the layup goes from like from your head, 
if you look on the other left, it goes like from your chest. You see how it goes from your chest. This one goes from your head, which is so hard to guard and so overpowered. So the layup you want to be using is side layup two. Now the best Euro step that you want to use is basic Euro step two. Now, as you can see, when you use it, it goes like over your head. You see that? This is because if someone's trying to guard you, it will go over their head too, and it's harder to guard this Euro step. So you want to do Euro step two equip. Now the best floater in my opinion is basic floater 3 and that's because we see the release it goes up to your head I think it goes actually behind your head so this is the hardest to guard but in my opinion you don't want to be doing floaters anyway because floaters are so hard to make but if you're a slasher I'd say the best floater for you is floater, floater 3. Now 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 the dunk animation this is what makes your dunk so overpowered in our world 3. The windmill dunk and the one-handed slam are hands down the best two dunks in the game. Windmill dunk is so broken. It goes in every time. It's so like, I don't even know, man. This 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 dunk is so broken. So the best dunk you want to use is windmill dunk. You see how like you can see how like it goes around your like whole body. You see that? Oh, it's so broken and it goes in every time. It doesn't matter what build you are, the windmill dunk will go in most of the time. Now before we get any further into the video, I just want to show you guys the, the stats on the build at Rookie. So, you have a 72 mid-range and a 69 three-pointer. At Rookie for a big man, that is extremely high. Now when you see 55 short layup, don't let that scare you. If you get a full bar on your layup, you can get easy 70% layups, which is more than enough for this game. 70% layups, that's going to go in pretty much every time. As a Rookie, and that's very good as well, so considering you're a center as well. It's going to be going up and in since you're so tall. You also have a 69 shot contest, which is actually pretty high considering you're a rookie. And you also have 69 block and 69 rebounds. So your defensive stats as a stretch are actually pretty high. You have 59 speed, 53 wibble speed, and 54 acceleration. Now, this might not seem high, but at your center, you move, you're so big, you actually move around quicker than that says. So, like, on defense, you're moving to guard someone. They have to move a lot faster to get around you considering you're so big. Now, so I'm going to show you guys to shoot on this build. So I'm going to shoot from as deep as I possibly can. 77% full bar green. So listen, if you're wide from deep, you can shoot easily with this build. Especially turnaround shots. If you if you do a turnaround shot and get it right. See, that's 60, but it's still going to go. Because I don't know why with this jump shot, I make all my 60s. It's actually crazy. That's 82 from there. That's crazy. I guess because like if you're a stretch, you should be able to shoot this deep, right? I mean... Then I, I can't believe that went in, bro. What the hell? That was a 54%. I, I mistimed it and it still went in. What the hell? That's crazy. Now, if you want to do a special dunk, all you have to do is you have to hold shift. You have to be like around the paint area and you just dunk normally and it will do a special dunk. For some reason, this dunk goes in all the time. Like, I shouldn't be dunking this good as a stretch big, you know what I mean? Like, it's so. It's just. I think it's the animation makes it glitch out into the hoop. It's just so broken. Bang. That like that that shouldn't work, man. I have a 60 dunk or something like that. Like what the hell? Honestly. See like you see how it like went into the hoops that are under it. Like that shouldn't it shouldn't happen, man. It's it's so broken. Another thing I want to talk about on this build is the badges. So if we go to view boosts, the badges on this build is adrenaline, bullet pass, inside specialist, quick handles. That's such a weird badge for a stretch. Quick shot, sharp shooter, and a tear job. So you get Sharpshooter on diamond, quick shot on diamond, and inside specialist on diamond. Now, these badges on diamond, if you have all three of these on diamond, it's gonna be so overpowered. If you didn't know, you can only have three badges at once. So just imagine having those three badges on this build. Like that would be crazy. You got to shoot from anywhere on the court, sharpshooter, quick shot. If someone passes you and you shoot, it's, you're gonna shoot instantly off that pass. And inside specialist, it's gonna make your mid-range is like green from deep it's gonna be so overpowered quick handles you can get on silver which is actually pretty useful i use this badge at rookie because it's actually quite easy to get this badge so you can, you can get this badge at like rookie seven if that maybe even like earlier tear dropper is not really like useful at all because you can't really do floats on a stretch anyway so this this badge is kind of irrelevant adrenaline is really hard to get i don't know why but it's so hard to get bullet pass you can get on gold which is really easy to get all you have to do is just pass the ball when you get this badge and yeah that's pretty much it so these badges are honestly really good for a big man anyway you get three hall of not hall of fame diamond badges sorry which you could put in your slot so that's that's the that's a bonus of this build 
So if you like this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, turn on the record stuff. So this video was so short compared to my other one. Um, if you want a more advanced one, like a more advanced uh, guide, let me know in the comment section below. I'll do the stuff like how to get wide open more, that type of stuff. So yeah. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like. If if it helped you, please subscribe to the channel. That'd be really, really appreciated. Yeah, no, that'd be it for me from me. Thank you so much for watching and peace.